Welcome back. Tonight, all the Democrats thinking about running for governor or attending Manatee's annual Democratic dinner, and one of them, Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum, was here last week. Tonight, we welcome another Orlando businessman, Chris King, and thank you very much for, for joining us. Uh, Chris, tell us uh, why you are running for governor. Uh, you, you, this your first shot at elective office? Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. Yes, uh, I'm running for governor uh, because this is a great state. Uh, it's a state that I love. I grew up here, uh, ra raising a family here, started a business here, uh, but it is a state with some great challenges. Uh, and it is my view that our one-party state government in Tallahassee is failing to address those challenges in a meaningful way, and I'm running to do something about what it. What kind of business are you in? I'm in an affordable housing business. I provide uh, safe, clean, and affordable housing to seniors and working families now all over the southeast. And, and obviously it's been very successful, um, and that will help you during this campaign, but boy, you're going up against some people who are extremely well known around the state. We don't know if John Morgan is going to run, but you know he, he's better known than just about any politician in the state. Gwen Graham, the former congresswoman, is the daughter of, of a former senator and, and governor. Mayor Gillum from Tallahassee is, is known uh, up there. Phil Levine uh, from Miami Beach is very well known in South Florida. Given that, mm -hmm. uh, how do you, what, what's your strategy for introducing yourself to mm -hmm. Florida voters and, and winning this election? Well, I think most folks all across this state, as I'm traveling around it, recognize uh, that in many cases, traditional political experience got us into many of the messes we're in today, and it's going to be new leaders with fresh ideas uh, that get us out of it. I am a new candidate with some new ideas. Uh, our party has not been successful in a long time, and we think this is a wide open race uh, where we can, we can really do something special. Well, let me ask you this, and, and this is a tough question, but... Donald Trump made that same kind mm -hmm. of argument and it got him to the presidency, but mm -hmm. he is struggling now in mm -hmm. terms of the levers of power and how to legislate. Mm -hmm. it, being in business, even if you're very successful, is mm -hmm. a lot different than being a chief executive or uh, officer of, of a state or a mm -hmm. country. Well, the only thing similar between me and Governor Scott or President Trump is the word business. Uh, I've run a very different type of business. It's reflected my values. Everyone in our business at the base level makes a living wage. Everyone receives health care, full health care covered by the company. Everyone's entitled to a bonus program. Uh, I think what Floridians are looking for is an authentic leader uh, who has progressive values but, but has those entrepreneurial disciplines and knows how to get big things done. Right. So what do you think is the biggest problem in Florida and what's your proposed answer to it? Biggest problem in, uh, today in Florida is that 45 percent of our jobs make less than $15 an hour. Our economy does not work for so many families. Families are struggling and hurting uh, and we've got to do something different about that. What? Well, my view is uh, for too long the leaders in Tallahassee have spent huge amounts of time and money in luring out-of-state businesses to come to Florida paying low-wage jobs. I believe it's my belief that we've got to create homegrown businesses here in Florida uh, that pay uh, wages that support families. That's everything I'll be talking about in this election. We have less than a minute left, but I do want to ask you this. Mm -hmm. If you did win, sure. it would be very likely that you would be dealing with a overwhelmingly Republican-controlled Senate and House. How would a Democrat be able to work with a Republican-dominated legislature to get anything done? Sure. Well, I'm a leader who's proven in, in my life, in business, and in my service work around the state and the, and, and the world uh, that we can do big things, we can bring people together, we can build consensus, uh, and that's something I'm, I'm looking forward to demonstrating as possible in Tallahassee. All right. Well, thank you very much, and good luck on the campaign trail. Thank you for having All me. All right.